Forestry is coming tomorrow, but it has been split into two updates. The best items you create in it were then removed, and finally, we lost the prayers from Desert Treasure 2. The economy should be collapsing, but it isn't, and Forestry may create a huge moneymaker or be a complete watered down version of what's coming in August. But first, as always, there's a bond hidden within the video, and the first person to find it and timestamp it with their username gets it. So yesterday, Jagex confirmed the new rings will use a DK rings to create them, subject to another poll, and unsurprisingly, the price of them all went up. You may wonder why, since we already knew this. Well, there isn't much confidence in investing right now, because all of the U-turns Jagex have made lately, and this is an ongoing theme, for the price of most items now. They've also increased the stats of the new Warrior Ring, giving it a plus 20 accuracy and plus 6 strength and that has meant the Warrior Ring has jumped up 30,000 GP overnight. We love strength though, we always have and we always will, but this is the first time I think I've seen enough accuracy in an item to rival it. Compared to the Altar Ring, which is the new Berserker Ring, you get 6 less strength but plus 20 accuracy to slash. That's pretty huge for the scythe and it had a small rise yesterday, but nothing major and the scythe seems to be holding its value after rising about 100 million a few months ago. I think the problem with the new ring for the scythe is that the scythe excels on enemies that have very low defense or that you hit multiple times with a dragon warhammer essentially doing the same thing. So plus 6 strength in those situations is probably better than plus 20 accuracy, but I definitely feel like the new ring will have far more use than the warrior ring ever did and since it consumes the warrior ring it's probably a good investment right now even at 200,000 GP. The biggest impact on prices this month you would have thought would be losing the new ruinous power prayers. For those that didn't know what happened, we asked Jagex for new prayers, they gave us new prayers but we didn't like them, they changed the prayers but we still didn't like them, so they scrapped the prayers and we didn't like that either. What is your problem Jagex? Joking aside, it was for a very good reason as people could hit 99s with them. The impact on the economy has actually been quite minimal though, and prayer potions have even been going up in price. The Twisted Bow continues to rise in price and is now up 300 million GP in the last 6 months. There is still 4 new bosses coming out and some best in slot gear, so the best weapons in the game are still in demand, as well as supplies as the update gets closer. Yesterday, Jagex also gave the new robes a 1% damage boost and the result was the Tumican Shadow dropped in price a little bit, even though in the same post they clearly state that this update hopefully slots these in a better middle ground between Arums and Ancestrals. There was also a mini panic on ancestral prices, but they're recovering already. As mentioned before, the new gear is only best in slot on ancients, and ancients is only best in slot against multiple targets and a few bosses with unique mechanics like Scorpia and the Abyssal Sire. The reason the Tumican Shadow isn't doing as well as the Scythe and the Tebow is purely because if any of the new bosses are weak to magic, you would think that Jagus would make them weak to ancients, but don't quote me on that. One of the best investments right now is Blood, Death and Soul Runes. We use a ton of them on Ancients and they still haven't gone up in price. In fact, they're as cheap as they've ever been. Desert Treasure 2 releases 4 new scepters that have unique mechanics on Ancients and there is potential for some bosses to be killed on Ancients too. Or at least have a mechanic that requires them in the fight. That's before you add in all of the new uses for the spells in PvP or potential people could use them for other bosses, such as a shadow attack that reduces your opponent's strength, attack and defense. But if these cancelled updates have done anything, it's reminded us that when investing in items there are absolutely no guarantees. Tomorrow is the release of Forestry and if you're quick you may be able to make a ton of money on this one. Some people don't understand the point of Forestry but it is essentially an item sink. The aim was to take these skills and create high demand consumable items that boosted your skilling. That would mean you could in theory make money with all of these skills and we would also use up a ton of items in the process, such as basic seeds that there are far more of in the game than we use. The feedback from players though was largely negative, especially against the boosts, which is kind of the most important part. The uncertainty now around forestry has meant the prices haven't gone up that much at all, but this is creating a great opportunity for you to buy items that should go up in price, and the beauty of it is, we can actually wait to test the update before buying, since it's less than 24 hours away. This is all speculative, but at the same time, fairly likely. First off is logs. Now when I said to buy these months ago, it was meant to be a long term investment. There are billions of logs in the game, but tomorrow you'll be able to trade them for forestry items, meaning we use a lot more of them. 
Add to this that the meta for wood cutting in future will be more XP and less logs using two handed axes and it's a pretty safe bet that a year from now many different logs will be much higher priced. However that may just be much sooner than we're expecting because I've read all of the updates and there's a chance two handed axes are out tomorrow. If anyone has seen confirmation of which part it is in recently please let us know in the comments. It was originally going to be in part 2 but the last update seemed to imply it's actually in the first part. This could be massive if it is because some things in the forestry shop can be bought with all types of logs and the shop will sell the handle required to make two handed axes. We know the meta for wood cutting will now be two handed axes that means every single player will need one. If you can use logs to buy them and the cost is quite high that's going to remove a lot of the excess logs within the game very very quickly and make prices explode. Before I get to the other items that should go up in price tomorrow, an item that I've never mentioned in this update so far is the Dragon Axe, and that's because the price has only gone up because people are hoarding it. If you have the level for a Dragon Axe before the update, you almost certainly have one already. In all likelihood, all the investors will try to sell them tomorrow and the price will simply crash, although they may go up first just after the release when there is a bit of demand. The next item that's out tomorrow but relies on a two-handed axe also being out to be really useful is the Forester's Ration. Two-handed axes drain your run energy as you cut wood and Forester's Rations restore it automatically and you use one pretty much every single swing. Now we don't know how many rations you get when you create them but it sounds like you're going to go through thousands of these things and to create them requires cooked meat. So raw and cooked meats look like it may go up in price a lot tomorrow if two-handed axes are released which will be a fantastic money maker in free to play for a ton of new bots. I really don't understand at all why this item has been chosen in an item sync but there must be a reason for it. Forrester's Lucky Charm is definitely released tomorrow and requires a gold bar and the secator attachment requires a steel bar. There are so many bars in the game it's unlikely to have much of an impact but you may be able to do a nice little flip on those. Nature's offering though could have a much bigger impact. You use Nature Ruins, Ultra Compost and the cheapest herb Avanto or higher. This gives you extra resources as you chop logs, so pretty much as long as Jaggers have done their maths right it should be worth your while to do. It should also become the meta for every player to do this in future anytime they're doing forestry. How these boosts work is that you make one which actually gives you 40 to 50 of the item, they go in your forestry kit and they're consumed as you cut logs. The part I'm not sure of is how often you consume one. If we use one every single log that we cut, we're going to use absolutely loads of them, but again, we will only find out tomorrow. You can use any herb above Avanto, but the cheapest herb is Dwarf Weed and then Lantadine. We then have a ton of items that we don't know how to make yet, or could just be made within forestry that could bring a few surprises. Powdered pollen could be made within the forestry event, or could be a use for flowers that are currently in the game. There's also a log basket which is the wood cutting version of the fish barrel, a log brace can also attach it to your forestry kit and according to the wiki this costs 45 nails, 2 ropes and 3 addy bars. There'll probably be a lot of things like this tomorrow and as you can imagine 10,000 players all needing 2 ropes each will create a lot of demand for at least a few days. There's also a bunch of cosmetic items that can be purchased and maybe even some items we don't know about. So there's going to be a ton of items to flip tomorrow for a profit and also most things in forestry are tradable meaning there will also be some brand new money makers by simply creating those and putting them on the GE.